Greetings fellow men, servus Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again. Today I want to talk about the biggest German research study on prostate cancer. Now this topic is maybe not so interesting for younger men, although it should be, but middle-aged and older men should be very interested in that. As you all know, research on breast cancer gets a lot of funding and a lot of awareness. However, the public does not seem to care as much about male cancer patients. Nevertheless, there had been a really big study planned with a budget of 25 million euros on comparing four different types of um, treatment for prostate cancer. Now the goal was to make a randomized study with up to 7,000 participants and then later on compare the results for uh, the outcomes of these four different treatments. The point is that up until now it is not really clear apparently what the best method of treatment is or in what case you would use which treatment or where the differences really are. So German researchers and uh, medical doctors wanted to compare just the surgical removal of the prostate, then um, the radiation from the outside and uh, then um, regular checks and uh, just monitoring the whole situation and then also the treatment of the tumor with steady irradiation uh, by a radiation source that is placed next to the prostate and that uh, fourth option is uh, especially interesting to the researchers it seems. Now I'm not really a medical expert and I just got that from the mainstream media and then I quickly checked the website of the uh, study which I linked in the description below and it seems that um, there have not been enough participants. They needed more than 7,000 participants really to get the number that you need to have a statistically valid result of the study. Um, but only like a little bit over 300 really applied so far. And the problem seemed to have been that the um, doctors, the medical doctors, the practitioners, they didn't want to participate. So they didn't even tell their patients that there is such a study. And uh, part of the reason is that they would have to admit then that they don't know themselves which of these treatments is the best. And also the thing is that the gold standard of a, a study is this randomized study. And randomized now means that you have, let's say, um, drug A and B and you want to test it. That means that the drug that you use on the patient is actually um, chosen randomly <laughs> that and that is an idea that many doctors maybe and also the patients don't like however if you really don't know anything about how uh, useful that drug would be this is really the only way to find out and I think at the moment the uh, treatment method is chosen from a medical perspective more or less randomly. I mean of course the patient has a certain preference. Maybe he doesn't want surgery or he doesn't like radiation or something. So he has a preference but he probably doesn't really know um, what is best for um, treating cancer here. So I think it um, would have been the decent thing to at least inform the patients that there is a study explaining to them briefly what the study tries to find out, giving them some material so that the patient at least has the chance to um, get informed and to decide whether or not he wants to take part in this randomized study so that men in 20 years maybe have better chances and that we find out more about how to treat uh, prostate cancer effectively. So as I said they cancelled this study now because they didn't find enough participants but at least the website they have looks really professional and um, have you noticed that the picture on the upper right has a middle-aged man and a woman next to him that seems to be his wife or something as if um, prostate cancer was not only important for men, of course, but also for women. And maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it reminds me of, um, we all know that women have always been the primary victims of war, right? Oh well, so I think we have to wait until they attempt another study to find what the best method, or what at least a good method, of curing prostate cancer is. So I hope you all had a good weekend and you stay healthy. Servus, Kameraden.